Hey everyone, so for today's video I have got a go-to glowy makeup look. I mainly focused the makeup on like the base of it because obviously that is where the glow is coming from. I get a lot of questions and like comments on like my YouTube videos and like Instagram saying how do you get glowing skin um, and how do you just generally make your skin look quite healthy. Um, so I just showed you kind of like my go-to routine if I want that glowy look. If you do enjoy this video remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for new videos hopefully every single week. I'm in such a good mood um, and I'm like a little bit like what is going on because we're about to hit 100k. I didn't even think I was going to hit 10,000 let alone 100,000 so I don't even know what's going on to be honest. I'm just a little bit like, ah. Uh. So I felt like filming to try and like calm myself down. So I'm actually gonna prep my skin before applying any makeup because I just felt like pampering myself a little bit. I definitely feel like this adds to making your skin look quite glowy and just feeling really like hydrated and just ready to apply some makeup. So I'm gonna be using the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask and it just looks like this. I've actually never tried this one before but it looks pretty cool. I was definitely drawn in by the packaging. The super hydrating soothing mask and as soon as I saw the word hydrating I was like I think I might have to get that because I love anything that will hydrate my skin make it feel really soft and just not very dry because my skin can get quite dry now and then. I've actually never put a face mask on before doing like a makeup look. So just something like different to do. Just taking the face mask out of its packaging, I'm now gonna remove the blue bit on the face mask, like so. And this is what the face mask looks like. It's got a lot of like residue on it, which um, will obviously help with my skin. So, I'm gonna pop this on. Pop the face mask on. I feel like I can't talk properly because it's like so like firm. It's like really weird. Um, but it feels really, really cooling. And um, you're supposed to leave this on for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer on my phone chill for 15 minutes and I literally look so terrifying um yeah and I'll be back with you guys in 15. So it's been the full 15 minutes I'm now going to remove the face mask. God my skin feels amazing my skin feels so soft so now obviously I've got a lot of like residue from the face mask um, I'm now going to like massage into my skin because obviously I don't want to waste any of the residue. Now it is drying, it's becoming quite like sticky and tacky, so I'm now going to apply some moisturiser because that should like stop my skin from like becoming quite tight because whenever I don't moisturise after like cleansing my face or using a face mask, my skin becomes really like dry and tight, it's like really weird. Um, so I'm going to pop some moisturiser on. If you have been subscribed to my channel for quite a while, you'll know that my favourite moisturiser is my simple one. It's just my go-to moisturiser hasn't changed you're probably really sick of me saying that I'm going to use my simple moisturizer and this is the rich moisturizer one because I think there's a light one so now it's time to go on to makeup the actual main part of this video and I'm actually going to start off with foundation and I've mentioned this foundation in a lot of my videos and I'm sure you guys are like I hope you use the same foundation all the time but honestly it is the foundation that makes my skin look glowy, 100%. It is the Bourjois Paris Healthy Mix Foundation. It makes your skin look really healthy and really, really nice. It's not cakey. And also to make your skin look quite fresh looking and glowy, I would really recommend uh, wetting your beauty blender. So if you use a beauty blender, so I've just got my... I did have it. <laughs> so I've just got mine here and I'm really sorry about how dirty it is. I've literally tried to clean it so many times and I do clean it, it just seems to stain quite easily. Back from wetting my beauty blender, as you can see, it has like expanded quite a lot. Get my foundation, and I like to just pop it on the back of my hand, just so I know roughly how much I'm gonna use. I don't wanna use too much, because obviously this is like a glowy makeup look, so it's supposed to be quite like natural, and sort of like your own skin but better if you get me. I also forgot to say I'm also going to be using the Nukes oil. It's for like face, body and hair which is kind of cool. Ever since I've been mixing like an oil with a foundation it just gives this sort of like glow effect. Um, it just makes your skin look really really nice so I'm just going to also pop a bit on my face. Just kind of like mix it if you get me. 
I'm just like literally going like that. And straight away the foundation is blending in so nicely. One because of the damp beauty blend and the other reason because of the oil. Also I love the smell of this oil, it's just so nice. And also because the smell of the patch foundation is so nice as well. Your skin is just going to smell amazing. Now I'm going to go in with like a really nice light powder and I'm going to be using the Pixi Quick Fix Powder and it's in the translucent. It's like really, really lightweight and you can see the powder at the bottom. I'm not going to be using too much of this because I don't really want to mattify my face that much because obviously I want like the oil to like shine through like my skin. This is like so soft against your skin. Like so nice. And the mascara I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It definitely does give my eyelashes a lot of volume and it just makes my eyelashes stay up for most of the day because with my eyelashes they kind of like grow kind of downwards if that makes sense. Like they don't really have much volume like naturally so this definitely does help my eyelashes lift up and have a lot of volume so I love that so I'm going to be using that and then for eyebrows I'm going to be going pretty natural and going with the Isla brow pencil in blonde and it's also got like this really cool spoolie at the end which is really good for like brushing out your brows. More in control when I'm using like a brow pencil because I can like draw on like fake hairs and fill in any gaps and I can like use as much product as I want if that makes sense. Okay so that is actually like a few coats of the mascara and it all of a sudden just like opens up my eyes making them look so much bigger than they were. I'm just lightly going over the areas where I've got like gaps in my eyebrows. And I do do a few like strokes at the front of my brow. And I'll just again do the same on the other eyebrow and as you can see I've got like a gap here in my eyebrow. So I just gently fill that in. I'm like looking in the viewfinder and my nose is literally glowing. Like you can literally see the reflection of my ring light. <laughs> Pixie Clip Brow Gel. My Holy Grail Eyebrow Setting Gel. It just completely sticks my eyebrows in place like so well. Like they literally won't move for the rest of the day. And now I'm going to go on to highlighter which is super exciting because that is the main part which gives the glow on the skin. And I'm going to be using the Benefit High Beam and I haven't used this in so long. I was looking through my makeup and I was like, you know what, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter because I feel like it's more intense and I love this one because it's got like a tint of like pink. It's like really, really pretty. Um, but obviously you can go for like drugstore highlighters. So I recommend the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighters. Like I love them. I'm um, just trying to think. Um, some other highlighters which I absolutely love is the Revolution ones. They're super, super pigmented. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of do three dots on my cheekbones. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Just like the highlighting points, so like your cheekbone, to be nose, cupid's bow, and the brow bone. Like that. And that's it. That is my highlight. Pretty good look, I think. I'm actually going to blend it in with this finger here. Just lightly blend it out. Next, I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit because I feel like I don't really have much colour in my skin. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using this Buxom bronzer and I absolutely love what it looks like. It's like super, super cool. Great packaging. It's like really good quality and really compact. And I'm just going to lightly bronze my face up. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like as soon as you bronze your forehead up, you automatically look more tanned. I don't know, that might just be me. I don't want to do anything too intense, like a bold lip colour. I'm just going to be using, actually I'm going to be using two lip products. It is the Pixi, um, what is this, the Multi Balm in Baby Petal. Love the packaging of Pixi so much. I absolutely love this because it is like a two in one, so you can use it for your cheeks or your lips. This lip colour is almost your lips but better colour. Dab this on my lips. To add some colour because where I've, um, blended my foundation out, uh, the foundation's gone onto my lips so it's made it look super super pale. To pop on top of the lip colour I'm just going to be using like a clear sort of lip balm and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Lips in Hydrate. It's like a super glossy lip balm so I love putting it on top of like lip colours. And to set everything in place I'm going to be using, of course, 
my Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist and it's got rose water and green tea. It smells amazing. It sets my makeup in place so nicely and straight away it hydrates your skin and it leaves that like makeup really well in place. So that's the end of my go-to glowy makeup look. I mainly wanted to focus on the base of your makeup um, because obviously that is where the glow comes from. This look is super simple, super easy, so if I can do it, you can 100% do it and I love it. I think it's so, so nice, so pretty, so natural. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for new videos, hopefully every single week. I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video.